Now on both sails are pleased to present Coho, a Stuart 47 motor sailor. Um, these really are the epitome of the uh, definition of a motor sailor. Um, fully enclosed uh, shed if you like and uh, they do sail well too. So the boat has a Nordic uh, appearance and element to it and the design of the boat very much is uh, uh, pitched on uh, being a great offshore sea boat. So uh, we're now in the pilot house as such and one of the big features here, obviously it's very, very comfortably appointed, um, but the sheets are all led into this area and the boat can be fully operated and sailed from this area. So no need to go out in the elements if, um, if uh, the weather uh, doesn't uh, appeal. So uh, that's, that's the big feature of the boat in terms of performance. Then the uh, next area as we go down below is the superb fit out and it really is excellent. Great uh, dinette area there. This is a lovely setup with these two uh, saloon type chairs. Um, they recline and everything but uh, very, very comfortable and uh, great uh, when underway or just sitting at anchor. Uh, it really is a nice feature for extended cruising or even a little board. A uh, large cabin forward, that's a V-berth, but certainly a very, very big double, plenty of storage. And you can see as we go through the boat, the quality of the fit out. The Stuart 47s were all professionally built hulls and decks, and um, some of them then uh, were fitted out to uh, the individual owner specifications, and this was um, done to the original owner and uh, as you can see, done with a very, uh, very exacting standard. Excellent galley, good seagoing galley, but also a good functional galley from an entertaining or cruising point of view. Uh, nice feature is uh, the full nav station and the pilot berth. Uh, this also has a curtain, which um, allows it to be isolated. And then, wow, here we go. Check out the engine room. 120 horsepower diesel light Vico, but look at the condition of this. It's absolutely immaculate. One of the nicest engine rooms we've seen. Uh, in a, uh, a, a private boat, um, gen set and so on, it's got the lot. So it's absolutely gleaming and presented in first class order. So uh, good electrics, um, 240 volt and 12 volt systems through the boat. And uh, as we head back up into the pilot house, you get an appreciation of the space here. So this can be another living area. I and mean, again, if you want to sit up at this level and enjoy the views while cruising, there's certainly the opportunity to do so. The owner's master suite is excellent, full on suite. As you can see, shower, hand basin, probably in toilet, uh, very, very good sized double berth, uh, fully enclosed cabin, lots of good features too. Those ports all open, but they have also uh, external covers um, from a very uh, efficient sea keeping point of view. Uh, the boat's fitted with very, very good electronics. Most of them are uh, uh, recently uh, fitted. Uh, there's dual autopilots, um, they're hydraulic, and uh, you know, there's, there's two there as a redundancy factor. Great side decks as we go around the boat, check out the bulwarks, really nice from a safety point of view and uh, makes uh, the cruising family feel very secure. Electric anchor winch of course, heads along furler, there's a staysail which is hanked on to an inner forestay which is um, certainly good for offshore stuff. Um, yeah so again uh, we're moving around the boat, uh, you get a good appreciation of uh, cabin and the, um, the align of that and as I said that has a bit of a, a Nordic influence with the forward sloping uh, element there. Um, the side decks really, the width of the side decks continue all the way around. Solar panels, good tender, we've got um, nice, uh, we call them admiral seats back there. Um, uh, duckboard drops down so all the amenities to make the boat very very comfortable um, from a cruising perspective it really is a great package we're pleased to offer for sale it's an exceptional vessel